Hi there, everyone. It's Misty here from the Jolly Fit Elf. Welcome back to another week of cards. Today, I am making a card using the new Doodle Bug um, Hoppy Easter stamp set. I'm so excited to finally get to play with these stamps. Um, I've mounted the bunny and the um, basket and the sheep or lamb on my stamp apparatus, and I just use my hand to go over it to take some of the stickiness away. And then I am mounting the little grass and egg on an acrylic block and I'm gonna stamp this five or six or eight times. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be coloring using a blend of my Copic markers and my Stampin' Blends. So the colors I'm using are Pool Party, Pumpkin Pie, Sorority Flamingo, um, Daffodil Delight, and then this is Highland Heather. I'm using both colors. Just doing some really simple coloring. I'm putting the darkest color at the bottom and the lightest color on top on these eggs. And I'm gonna be cutting these out using my scissors. Um, Doodle Bugs does have what they're calling Doodle Cuts, I believe. So they're coordinating dies, but dies get expensive. I have a pick scan. I just need to find it and see if I can use, <laughs> find, it, find my mat and see if I can use, um, get it to work. So I'm going to use those colors to not only color the eggs that are in the grass, but the little flowers and then the eggs that are in the basket. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow. I have a very special Easter collab that I'm doing with a, a, a YouTuber here and I'm so excited for you guys to see the um, the projects that we made. Um, I'm so excited. It's going to be, it's top secret, but come back tomorrow at 10 and you'll be able to see um, who I'm collabing with. So I'm coloring the bow. Of course, I want a purple bow because purple is my favorite color. And again, I'm using the Highland Heather markers. Um, I added the dark and then I'm going over with the light. And then in a minute, I'm going to go back over it with the dark. Um, for the basket, I'm using Copics. I'm using E18 and E15. Um, these two colors, along with one more, come in the three pack of the browns. Um, I will have everything linked down below in the description. If you're on mobile, there's a little um, arrow. You click that and it'll um, buy the title of the video and that'll get you all the links down below. Um, also, I'm having a 48 hour sale in my Planning with the Elf Facebook group. Um, so if you're into planner stickers, etc., and you wanna get some for 25% off, make sure you head over there. Again, that link is down below. So I'm just using the darker color to add in a bit more shading on my purple bow. So stinging cute. And I went ahead and colored outside the lines because like I said, I'm gonna cut these out with my scissors. And then I'm using some clear Wink Stella. I have brand new pen, so it's very, 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 very shiny. <laughs> so I'm using the Brain, excuse me, green blends pack as well. Um, first, I just thought I was gonna use the lightest colors and then in a minute you'll see me bring in the darker color and add that at the bottom. Um, I um, put this up against my Granny Apple Green and they're basically the same colors. So if you have the Granny Apple Green markers, you don't necessarily need the Copic markers, but um, if you're looking to invest, then there you go. Um, I did get some more markers for my birthday, so I'll be sharing those um, over the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to do a haul video. You'll just see me um, use those in my videos. And then I made my own marker storage. Um, it, I needed it to be a bit bigger, so I had to buy a couple more things. But once I have it all put together, I will share that video with you guys. I did film it. So here I'm going to go through and color the little flowers that is um, on the grass. And then I'll move on to the little bunny. These images are so stinking cute. And like I said, they all come with um, die cuts and, uh, or excuse me, yeah, the die, coordinating dies that you can get. But I decided to go, go ahead and just, you know, use my scissors or, um, like I said, I'm going to try to um, use my scanning cut if I can ever find it. So for the bunny, I'm using E00 and then I believe it's E11 to add in a bit more um, texture and shadow. And then um, I'm gonna use the Flirty Flamingo markers for the ears and the nose, and then for the um, nose on the little lamb. This is such a great marker, I really love. Flirty Flamingos is one of my most favorite colors from Stampin' Up! anyway. And then for the lamb, I'm using my Smoky Slate markers. Um, I did color him a little bit differently. I restamped him and colored him, but I left that out. And you'll see when I get to the um, 
I started here with the light basic black and the light smoky slate. So I needed, I couldn't find my dark smoky slate anywhere. And then after I colored this, I found my dark smoky slate. <laughs> so I went back and recolored it. And you'll see that um, when you see the card, cause it just got to be a little dark. Um, if I had had a gray, which I did order the cool gray markers from Copic. So I will finally have grays. Excuse me, but um, when I finally have grays, I'll be able to color a little bit. A little bit lighter, but because um, the grays from Stampin' Up are a bit, a bit on the dark side. Excuse my yawn. It's like ten o'clock at night. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> so after I went ahead and added a little bit of purple to his color, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. Like I said, I cut them all out with my scissors, and I just went around them with. Um, a black marker. I'm using one of the new dies that I showed in my Lawn Fawn haul. If you missed that on Friday, Roxy shared a Lawn Fawn haul with you guys. <laughs> I'm using the hillside backdrop to cut out this grass paper and then I'm going to end up cutting out five of the clouds. This is a piece of Coastal Cabana that measured five and a half by eight and a half and I've squirted at four and a quarter. And I am using this tacky glue from Simon Says Stamp. This came in a kit a couple of months ago and to add that to the card. I actually really like this glue. It comes out really thin. Um, I was able to move it around pretty easily. Um, I love this die. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got it. It's so stinking cute, I really love it. So I am a little bit off frame here, but I'll move it in a minute once I realize that I am out of frame. And there you can see my little lamb handle. He's a little bit lighter than he was um, before, so. Isn't this just the cutest little backdrop? I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. So I'm going to bring in some um, adhesive runner from scrapbook.com um, to adhere the clouds down. And then I will also be using um, some dimensional adhesive as well. I love these little clouds. This little cloud die comes with this little heel side border die. It's so cute. And I just use this piece of scrap paper um, to cut out the clouds. That's why you see some stamping there. And then I'm adding some Wink Estella um, to the clouds again because they need to be shiny because it's so cute. And I think this, this die also comes with, no, I think it's another die that comes with the raindrops. But um, this has like a little house and... Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had a video go up on Monday. I'm doing this on Sunday night, so. I had a rough weekend. You guys know I have um, an autoimmune disorder that causes muscle weakness. And I've also been dealing with a lot of back pain because of the weather. And we got another cold front here in Dallas. It's like, can we please just stay in the 70s? I would, I would be a happy girl. Um, and we ended up at um, Costco on Friday night. And then when I drive the little scooter, the little cart to um, get groceries, sometimes it can um, cause me to be really, really tired. So after adhering all those, that's it guys. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you like this card. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. Make sure you come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. for my special collab. And I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.